It really is a special event that we're at. This is the second hour of code for Somerville Public Schools, and it really would not have been possible with without a lot of hard work on many people's parts. Um, certainly to Charlie LaFosse and to Sean Struma, who both have been instrumental in helping get volunteers here for our event this year and helping to just organize it so that our 4,900 students across the Somerville Public Schools are able this week to spend time exploring computer science and coding. I mean, it's really a unique opportunity. It's such a great way to expose students. As you can see, they're fully aware of that and not aware of us um, because they're engaged, they're learning, and they feel empowered, and that's really what it's about. Um, would, I'd like to thank uh, Shireen Tyrell, who has been a partner with us now for two years, but longer, um, from Mass TLC. And she really has been instrumental in the education side to bring in partners as well um, and to help us make this event possible. Um, Sean, with his company Pegasus, again, what a perfect example of private and partner partnership, public partnership, coming in to make a difference for our schools. You know, you see about 200 volunteers around our district today who will be in our district all week helping students get exposure to, uh, to coding. Minecraft. It's interesting that we would actually need a amplification system here because of the engaged communication here, these young people. I was talking to one young girl and I said, what are you doing? She said, I'm dealing with this problem set, but it's hard. And I, and I was about to say, well, you'll get it. She said, no, but I'm going to figure it out. Uh, I think I can't emphasize enough, even in my job today, which is a chief executive of this community, how much uh, analytical thinking and, and strategic decision making and uh, coding come into effect in everything we do. Um, I would like to consider some of all the innovation city and the coding capital of the world. Um, cannot emphasize enough how much investment and in expanding the analytical minds of our students will yield incredible results for the future. Um, and I want to thank you, Mr. Secretary, and the Baker administration for supporting that. So thank you for all our partners today. Uh, I don't want to take up much time here and say this is really exciting. All the proof is in the pudding and, and seeing how much fun and enga how engaged these young students are. I know my kids love coding. I have the Hour of Code app, uh, the Code Academy app on my phone. So. I want to welcome you, Mr. Secretary, and please join me and welcome the Secretary of Education for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Secretary Pfizer. I want to thank you all, Superintendent, Mayor, uh, all, the, all the business partners who are here today as part of this event. Truth is that computer science is one of those fields that cuts across so many different dimensions of, uh, of education and of modern life that it is becoming more and more a critical part of what we need to expose students to throughout their educational career from kindergarten, if not earlier, all the way up through high school and beyond. It's been great to see these kids engaging with, this, uh, with, with these different tools and encoding directly themselves and making something happen on the screen because of their action. You can tell how much engagement and how much excitement they have in doing the work. And as the mayor said, how much of a challenge it is, not just to succeed, but to struggle through the process of getting from failure to success. Uh, all of those things are just tremendously important. I'm thrilled to see this going on. I want to congratulate all of you here in Somerville for the great work you're doing, not just here on uh, Hour of Code Day, but throughout the school year in thinking about how to make computer science a, a critical part of every child's experience. So thank you all very much. So we just welcome you to join the kids and to do some coding. And again, thank you for everyone for making this event possible and for coming and celebrating such a success in the Somerville Public Schools. Thank you. Did you guys like our code? Yeah! Hi! <laughs> I'm Ariella. I'm Sarah. Julie. Tal. We're from Amazon, and we just volunteered for Hour of Code, and we had an awesome time! And you completed Yay! it! Here's your certificate! Yay! Congratulations, Somerville. I'm Colleen Lambert from Microsoft. Somerville, good job on behalf of all the mass technology leadership companies in Massachusetts. Congratulations, we're really proud of you and you are on your way to success. Hi, I'm Amy Sprung from Microsoft. We're so excited to be back here in Somerville and see all the amazing work that you've done around our code and computer science in the district. Congratulations. It's pretty special and we know how much progress we've made just in one year of getting you know, code.org in and looking at our K-8 curriculum and finding ways to embed code. Our high school now has the Exploring Computer Science, which has 50 students, 
in our AP class, which has four. So we have lots of uh, lots of uh, growing interest in coding, um, both as an, an interest for creativity and collaboration and problem solving, and potentially as a career, which is just a wonderful continuum. So thank you again for joining us. It's been a wonderful day with the mayor and the Secretary of Kaiser, and we look forward to seeing you next year at the Hour of the Board.